Dear Excellences, thank you for this timely summit and for inviting us. I'm a beekeeper and represent La Via Campesina, the global peasant movement of more than 200 million people, comprising peasants, landless people, indigenous peoples, migrants and agricultural workers, rural women and rural youth. We are essential to achieve the goals of sustainable development. Therefore, many thanks for giving us this opportunity to share them here today with you. We need to acknowledge the peasant solutions and mainstream them. Peasant-led agroecology and sustainable peasant farming offer concrete pathways to achieve the sustainable development goals. To achieve zero hunger, food production must be based on agroecology and food sovereignty, embracing small-scale food producers. Peasant agroecology combines centuries of knowledge and experience with scientific and ecological principles to develop vibrant local food systems that can address poverty and marginalization. It, pr it promotes healthy and culturally appropriated nutritional food, enhances biodiversity, responding to the climate crisis effects. Excellences, peasants are primary agents of change, yet we are often marginalized and dispossessed of our fundamental rights, such as land, water, and seeds. It is therefore essential to promote, to use, and to apply the UN Declaration on the Rights of Peasants and other people working in rural areas. Countless reports from UN agencies, as well as the recently launched UN Decade of Family Farming, all recognize smallholder food producers as a pillar of strength in our society. We have been feeding the majority of the world's population for centuries and continue to do so. Excellences, it is urgent now to put human rights and nature before profit. We, the peasants, have the immediate solutions that our children and youth are demanding on the streets today. We can help cooling the planet. For that, we need you, our government, to be ambitious, to truly represent us and to engage with us. Inclusive governance institutions, such as the Committee on World Food Security, should therefore be strengthened. We have the knowledge and the vision to contribute, shaping the necessary public policies and investments for a successful agroecological transformation. Let's globalize this struggle in order to globalize hope worldwide. I thank you.